Welcome to Science Fact Tune. Here you will learn cool science facts. If you like our videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for your support. Now let's get into the video. Classification of Plants Plants are classified based on their evolution, tissue structure, seed structure, lifespan, and growth habits of the plants. It was Carl Linnaeus who came up with a classification system. In this video, we will take a look at various classifications of plants. Classification based on tissue structure. Vascular plants. These plants contain vascular tissues and they aid in water and mineral transportation from soil to various parts of plants which helps plants to grow large in size. Example, ferns. Non-vascular plants. These plants are less advanced when compared to vascular plants and are small in size because of the absence of vascular tissues. Example, mosses. Classification based on seeds. Seed plants. These plants contain seeds and reproduction takes place through them. Example, mango. Seedless plants. These plants do not contain seeds. Leaves contain spores that help in reproduction. Example, ferns, mosses. Classification based on habitat. Water plants or aquatic plants. These plants live in water. Examples, lotus. Aerial plants. These plants grow above the ground. They are usually found in rainforests. Roots are short. They aid in attaching to nearby taller plants. Examples, orchids. Land plants. They are also known as terrestrial plants. Examples, orange. Classification based on lifespan. 1. Ephemerals. These are the plants that complete their life cycle within the span of a few weeks. Examples, Arabidopsis. 2. Annuals. These are the plants that complete their life cycle within the span of one year. They germinate, grow, and reproduce by bearing fruits and flowers within a year. Examples, corn, watermelon, grass. 3. Biennials. These plants have a life cycle a span of two years. In the first year, they develop root system and the stem develops, and leaves start growing. In the second year, the development of flowers and fruits takes place. Examples, spinach, carrots, onions. 4. Perennials. These plants have a life cycle of more than two years. Growth takes place through the development of the root and shoot system. They bear fruits and flowers. However, they do not die off after bearing fruits. They can renew their parts and live longer. Examples, coconut tree, ginger, banyan tree. Classification based on growth. Herbs. Small, soft, and doesn't have woods. They are small in size, usually around one meter above the ground. Example, basil. Shrubs. Do not have a main trunk like a tree. Usually, branch near the base and develop leaves and flowers. Example, rose. Trees. Thick woody plants develop a main trunk, branches, leaves, and fruits. Example, mango tree. Creepers. Stems are thin and fragile to support the plant. Cannot support themselves and they creep onto the ground. Example, watermelon. Climbers. Same as creepers, but seek support from the external environment and grow vertical example, money plant. Hope you were able to understand the classification of plants under various categories. Plant a tree and plant a new life. Thank you and have a good one. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel, Science Fact Tune.